Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, we'll be talking about Perseus. No, not this one, this one. Perseus was one of the most celebrated Greek heroes. Let's move on, shall we? You're making this awkward. Stop it. Meet Perseus' parents, Zeus and Danaba. In Cassir an idiot, and haven't read any form of Greek mythology before, Zeus is the god of the sky. He's the one with the lightning bolt. Danaba is the daughter of King Acrisius. An oracle told King Acrisius that his daughter's son aka his grandson will one day kill him if you don't know what an oracle is. Look it up. You have all of the world's information at in the palm of your hand, idiot. Anyways, in fear of this prediction, he locked his daughter in a bronze chamber that was open to the sky. Zeus was able to communicate with her because he is the god of the sky. Do you idiots get it now? Eventually, Zeus fell in love with Danaba. He took the form of Golden Rain to visit her, which impregnated Dana with Perseus. King Acrisius knew about this. After Perseus was born, he locked them both in a wooden chest and sent them out to the sea. They washed up on an island and Dictys took care of them both. Dictys raised Perseus to manhood. As an adult, Perseus was tricked into having to bring the head of Medusa, the only mortal Gorgon, to King Polydectes. Polydectes is the king of the island they lived on and brother of Dictys. He needed to get rid of Perseus because he wanted Danaher, but Perseus had been protecting her. He expected Perseus to die on the mission, but he had underestimated. Athena gave him a bronze shield, Hephaestus gave him a diamond sword, Hades gave him a helmet that made him invisible, and Hermes gave him winged sandals. Athena helped Perseus track down Medusa. When Perseus arrived, Medusa was sleeping. If you didn't already know, Gorgons turn people into stone. Looking at the reflection of his shield, Perseus decapitated Medusa. On the way back to his home, he met Princess Andromeda. She was chained to a rock and left to die by her parents King Cepheus and Queen Cassiopeia as a sacrifice to the sea monster Cetus. Perseus saved her and he continued his way home married to Andromeda. When he arrived back home, he discovered his mother and Dictys hiding from King Polydectes. Perseus turned him to stone with Medusa's head. The oracle's prediction did come true, but as an accident. At a sports contest, Perseus threw a discus that accidentally hit Acrisius and killed him.